Imagine the universe not as a one-time event, a singular Big Bang expanding forever or fading into cold darkness, but as a heartbeat pulsing across eternity. This is the essence of the cyclic universe theory, that our cosmos didn't just begin once, but has been rebooting itself in an endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Instead of a singular beginning, the universe contracts in on itself after vast eons compressing all matter, energy, and even space-time into a dense, hot state. And then, like a cosmic spring, bouncing back into a new phase of expansion. But how would this work? In the standard cosmological model, the universe began around 13, 8 billion years ago with the Big Bang, a singular, infinitely dense point exploding outward, shaping everything we know. Yet some scientists wonder, was that truly the beginning or just the latest chapter? Could there have been a universe before ours and another before that, stretching infinitely into the past? In cyclic models, time doesn't have a clear starting line. The universe oscillates, expanding and contracting endlessly. Each contraction phase, or big crunch, might collapse into a new Big Bang, sometimes called the Big Bounce. Some versions suggest that the universe resets its entropy, the measure of disorder, with every bounce essentially wiping the cosmic slate clean. Others propose that entropy carries over, slowly accumulating over countless cycles, posing deep puzzles about how usable energy remains. This idea isn't without challenges. Current observations suggest the universe's expansion is accelerating, driven by dark energy, making an eventual contraction seem unlikely under known physics. Yet speculative theories, like those in string theory and quantum gravity, hint at mechanisms that might reverse expansion or trigger a bounce. The cyclic universe is still highly speculative, resting at the edge of what we understand. But it's a tantalizing thought that our cosmos is eternal, not static but rhythmic, a cosmic phoenix rising again and again from its own ashes. If true, it would challenge our notions of beginning and end, and invite us to imagine a reality where death is never final, only a prelude to the next grand cycle.